My name is Jason Lee Cordova. I am a teacher over at 21st Century Public Academy. And um, I'm an artist. I've been doing a lot of art for a number of years. Uh, it wasn't until just after high school probably though that I started understanding composition a lot better. And uh, my pieces started becoming a lot more successful. We beat a crew that possessed it all wicked instrumental. I became an artist not by choice but just by um, almost like boredom <laughs> if I think back to it I always used to like to draw and everything like that and it was always because I spent a lot of time um, at family members houses I took all the studio classes available at uh, uh, one of the community colleges and then at UNM as well I took some art classes uh, the studio classes there taught me a lot, and if anything, it taught me how to be a disciplined artist. Um, without discipline, it's easy to ha get caught up in your everyday life when not everything that you do is art. This year groove was made for vintage freestyling, feeling like I'm chilling on a Caribbean island. I don't think art needs to be defined. You don't have to have it be one way or another. There doesn't need to be ultimatums or boundaries. Art is whatever someone feels. Art is how you carry yourself. Art is how you, um, I don't know, dress yourself. People don't even realize their abilities when it comes to art. They're so creative in so many aspects. And, um, you know, that's the beauty of art is that since it was never defined, it's never going to be defined. New Mexico art is a product of all its parts. All its parts are all the artists that contribute to it. Um, I could change and it would never change everything as a whole. A trap core quest we represent an up north when got to say in the back, acting all silly, kicking free. I think there's so many different artists that are huge influences, um, even just from painting to uh, literature like Otofo and I am. You know, there's a, there's a, just a real soul in New Mexico that I don't think you see in a lot of other places. In the back, acting all silly. My spare time is where I find um, the place to do my art. Okay, well this one in particular doesn't have a name necessarily. I had uh, painted another nude in uh, one of my painting classes that I was taking. And my, we were having a critiquing class and my professor asked me if I was objectifying women. For that one in particular, like I didn't really know the answer because, you know, I wasn't intending to. Like I was just trying to find um, the composition uh, and trying to like work it out um, in a real beautiful way. I thought, you know, we unintentionally do it just because we're exposed to like the idealized form consistently in the media, like in magazines, like in movies, like everywhere you see like just like this um, perfect body and like these really serene settings and stuff like that. So I thought, you know, that's exactly what I'm going to do for this one. You know, I, I picked like a, like a, an exotic place with all these strange waterfalls and rock formations and like, you know, I put like an objectified woman in it, you know, someone with like a really pretty form and um, didn't show her face because I didn't want there to be like any identity associated with it because it was an object, it wasn't a person. It was um, a, like it was a scene, it wasn't like a real place. Like I kind of um, took like a little bit of like an abstracted um, approach to the way that I did the rocks and everything else, you know, using colors that weren't necessarily there. And then just to glorify that, um, idea even further, I put just pure decoration on the side, you know, just um, like shapes and forms just to make it even more so that um, uh, that idea. If you use the, the best materials uh, and you put your time and your heart into it, you could always have something that comes out really nice. Material is what we bring forth. A tribe called Quest, we represent an up north. When Scott should say in the back, acting all silly. My favorite type of brushes is a, a brand out of Spain. They uh, use horse hair um, for the bristle, and so it cleans real nice. Uh, they're called Escoda, and um, those ones I found 
uh, in the last couple of years and you never have to buy the same brush twice. I like to use a lot of warmer tones so I tend to uh, fall back on like reds and auburns and that kind of thing but my two favorite t colors to paint together is um, like a deep red and an indigo which is like a dark blue. I think it has a really nice uh, effect to it. It creates um, some real dark darks and some real light lights and when you have um, that contrast next to each other like blacks and whites almost uh, it creates uh, this effect called the chiaroscuro. What's well, a dramatic lighting is essentially what that means. Dramatic lighting uh, adds like a real visual appeal to it. It creates like a real luminous uh, painting basically. Personally what makes me unique? I guess uh, uniqueness is one of the most ununique things about everyone. Uh, we all share that quality so it kind of is just one of those things where you just have to find what it is that you like and try to do it well. I think I've tried to do that with uh, my art, when I'm doing my art, when I'm um, doing anything. I just try to find what it is that I like about it and, uh, you know, make it, make it worth doing. This particular piece happens to be a self-portrait that I did. I find uh, self-portraits to be a little bit intrusive, so I tend to make mine masked by a lot of different things. Um, there's a lot of symbolism in this one in particular. You know, there's, um, for instance, I think Arabic is one of the most beautiful forms of uh, writing. And the thing about that that I think is really interesting is that uh, they're not supposed to create uh, art pieces necessarily, like paintings and that kind of thing. Uh, it's against the church. So they put so much time and effort into uh, their script. It, the calligraphy that they do is just something else. It's the most beautiful writing that you could ever imagine. It kind of has something to do with um, the way that we talk sometimes. You know, we take, um, we take a lot of words and say things that we don't mean and sometimes we don't understand exactly what we're saying or promising and that kind of thing. And that's uh, why I put that over my lips. I have like uh, some, some really uh, interesting um, mosaic tiles on the top of this particular piece and um, that comes from a temple in Pakistan. Uh, that particular symbolism is uh, just the whole idea of like my body is my temple kind of thing. Um, like I haven't really been completely settled in my ways and so in it like you see a progression in my pieces. No two piece really looks the same. You know, it's kind of detrimental to a portfolio sometimes just because showing diversity is good, but showing consistency is a good thing too. If I spent more time marketing myself, I could definitely get into more galleries. Um, but right now, I think I'm doing stuff on the side and um, I'll be graduating school this May and I'm sure that that's going to open up a whole new window of opportunities and hopefully open up a door for me to get some space uh, in my daily life and get to do more art and focus on getting my stuff in some more galleries and stuff. We be the crew that possess the wicked instrumental, damaging your mental from here to Sacramento. This year groove was made for vintage freestyling, feeling like I'm chilling on the Caribbean.